And today, I received a uh, item that I'm gonna do a product review on. It's the Top Fort fillet knife, right here. So I received this today, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, look at it, take a look at it right now, unbox it, and uh, put it to the test and see how how it uh, performs. So let me just get out the box here. this to the side okay here's the knife got a sleeve right here you can put it in this looks really stu sturdy right here pretty sharp comfortable grip so what we're going to fillet with this knife guess you all can probably guess what it's going to be exactly it's going to be a sheep's head so I'm gonna put use this knife on a sheep's head and see how good it fillets. So let me go ahead and get the sheep head together and put it to the test. See how well, well the fillets come out. Alright, just stand by. Go and get the fish. What's going on everyone? Alright, just got the sheep's head together and got the fillet knife, top fort fillet knife, and got my bowl of water for the fillets right here. And let's just see how this knife performs. Go ahead and get it ready. I'm gonna go ahead and cut behind here the head. See right there. Just made a cut right there. And I'm gonna score it right along the top part of the sheet's head. It's cutting through the fence pretty easy. So far, so good. All right, then we'll score the other side of it. like butter okay then we're just going to go along the top portion and go along the, the body Make sure we get a nice smooth cut so far so good the bones, top bones out there with the other half. That's what this part is for, the ones with the ribs on it. You do have to be very careful with the knife because the knife is pretty thin, unlike other knives. Just to tell them the honest truth. So I wouldn't recommend cutting through bones with it. But use a uh, different type type of knife. Other than filleting, it's good. Just don't cut through the bones, especially a sheep's head. Cause you can draw your knife. But 
I just did it this one time. First time may be good, but I wouldn't recommend it. Keep doing it. But see, here's the first play with his knife right there. I mean, I'm not going to say this is like number one fillet knife, but it's affordable for $15.99. It's affordable and it gets the job done nicely. And let me show you this side real quick. Look at that. How you know me? Just ribs right there. All right, let's get the other side on. Like one time, this part right here to soften the bones. Crack that rib, rib cage open. All right, got the rib cage cracked open. two fillets right here and this is the start of this so move that to the side and this one I use to bring my little tool from Walmart put the fish on the fillet the meat off of them first I'm gonna cut around these rib cages real quick Decision around the rib cage just makes it much more easier. Let's see how this does filleting the meat off the off the uh, skin. Go through that pretty fast and easy. Go first fillet. Here we go. First sheep's head fillet, right there. Cut that off. Some of that off. You scrape that off. All right. Put this in the water. You got the rib cage in the skin right here. Put that to the side. Then we have our other fillet. Want to do? Go to the second fillet right here. And I right, so we cut that, that some of that meat. 
deep right there. There he is. Pictures for shoes with the sheep's head skin. And this is all I have for the this is all I have for the top fort um, fish knife. It says uh that's good for uh, fifteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Get it from Amazon. Uh, so if you like it, check it out. You know, real affordable. There's a lot of fillet lay knives on the market, but this one I just was given to try and it works okay, like a, any other uh, fillet knife. So, give it a try if you like it. If not, there's a thousand other knives out there. So, hope you enjoyed the review. And uh, this is Woody. Talk to y'all later.